Hello, I'm Mike Chatton with Hazel Solutions. I'm a building biologist based in Asheville, North Carolina, specializing in EMF testing and mitigation, as well as healthy home assessments. I wanted to take a moment today to make a quick video about something that I love talking about. I'm incredibly passionate about this subject. And if you're anything like me, you've been seeing it a lot in your world lately, and that is the subject of lighting. And in this case, specifically incandescent lighting. Over the past week, since January 20th, there has been a lot of reposting of a certain image of an executive order, the Unleash an American Energy Executive Order, that loudly proclaimed, or at least in theory, loudly proclaimed that incandescent light bulbs were coming back. Now let's take a moment and look at that. That section specifically said, to safeguard the American people's freedom to choose from a variety of goods and appliances, including, but not limited to light bulbs, dishwashers, washing machines, gas stoves, water heaters, toilets, and shower heads, and to promote market competition and innovation within the manufacturing and appliance industries. That sounds phenomenal, doesn't it? That sounds like everything we want. We want that choice to choose healthier incandescent lighting over these horrible LEDs. Do they give you a headache like they give me? Do they hurt your eyes? Do you get vision problems when you're around them all the time like I do? I know I can't stand them. I've replaced every light bulb I can in my house with incandescent versions. Now this sounds amazing on paper, the freedom to choose. But I had to take a step back and, and look deeper into this because it really doesn't sound to me like this is bringing it back. So let's take a moment and look at what actually the origins of the incandescent ban. And this comes from the Energy and Independence Act of 2007. And among other things with setting energy efficiency standards for appliances, this set a minimum efficiency of 45 lumens per, per watt for any general service light bulb, either imported or manufactured in the United States. Now, unfortunately, due to limitations of the actual technology, incandescent bulbs can never meet this requirement. The only bulbs that would would be compact fluorescent or LED bulbs. So this had the effect of banning the vast majority of incandescent light bulbs. Now, it's important to remember that this was set up, this was a standard that was established by the Department of Energy after looking into what was going to be the most energy efficient, what was going to be the most cost effective, and following the writing and acting of this statute and its approval by Congress, the majority of the manufacturers within the United States either shut down their incandescent plants altogether or retooled those plants to focus solely on the production of LED lights. Now, the United States, they are not alone. If you look at this image around the world, there are dozens of countries that have similar restrictions on incandescent light bulbs and requirements for energy efficient LED versions. Uh, you know, the European Union, Australia, most of South America, parts of Africa, even China, they all have these restrictions in place. So when I look at the totality of the law, the Energy Independence and Security Act, as well as even taking just market conditions into effect, I don't think what the executive order is saying at all is that we can expect light bulb manufacturers to build and ramp up incandescent production not when those standards still exist and it would take a literal act of Congress or at least another vote by Congress to either revise that portion of the law or to remove those restrictions altogether. And I mean, it's important even to remember that those restrictions are actually going to get even more stringent in the coming few years. By the middle of 2028, those requirements for energy efficiency are going to jump to a whopping 120 lumens per watt. This will eliminate all compact fluorescents, which is a fantastic thing because those are horrible, horrible for our eyes, horrible for the environment. 
but that will also exclude certain LEDs, including high color rendering index or CRI light bulbs, which produce a light that is a little bit more natural. In the end, we really have to focus on two major factors here when it comes to the discussion about whether incandescent light bulbs are coming back on a large scale within the United States or not. And the first is the actual language of the Unleashing American Energy Act, which doesn't talk about any specific technology for any of those elements. It instead focuses on choice. So I think the realistic thing that we're gonna see is just more options, more cheaply made, lower priced LEDs that are going to bring about even more potential health issues. We also have to consider the standpoint of the light bulb manufacturers themselves. Worldwide, not just within the United States, since the early 2000s, and in some cases earlier, there have been legislation enacted putting some sort of restrictions on LED light bulb manufacturing and importation. Now, a lot of these companies have shut down plants, manufacturing plants altogether, or retooled. I don't think it's realistic to assume at all that they are going to reverse motion when the worldwide trend is towards pushing more energy efficiency and more energy efficient lighting as opposed to less energy efficient lighting. I know this may not be the news or the answer that some of us may want to hear, but there's always a solution. There's always a way to make some incremental improvement or to find a product that's going to work a little bit better for our lives. And in this case, I want to tell you about one of my favorite products, a product that I use all the time that I recommend to my family and to my clients. And that is a company called Health Lighting out of Norway, which produces an amazing line of light bulbs called the Chromalux. They have been producing these light bulbs for over 40 years, and they are able to sell and, and export incandescent light bulbs to all of these countries because of one very important detail of the Energy Independence and Security Act, and that is light bulbs can be imported or manufactured if there is not an LED equivalent, if they are a specialty light bulb, a specialty size, or in the case of chrome locks, a specialty light in general. They use some proprietary technology in their glass that produces a full spectrum light, which qualifies them as an exception to that Energy Independence Act and allows them to still be purchased here. It's what I use in my home. I can't imagine having them, having anything else in my home. If you are interested in learning more about them, I've posted a link in the video description below. And if you feel so inclined, if you use the coupon code HAZEL, you can get a 10% discount. Um, I would love it if you're able to support the channel by using that coupon code. I'd love to continue to make content, especially about lighting and some of the health aspects of it that we really need to be considering in our homes and in our workplaces. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching.